Hey guys, this video how to play R&B guitar is intended for people who want to approach R&B guitar. Uh, you might be interested in uh, R&B, neo soul, gospel guitar, and if you are uh, familiar with the channel, you already know that uh, I often upload videos about R&B guitar, neo soul, or gospel chords and chord progressions. Before we get started with this list, guys, if it's your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to support this channel even more, you can think about becoming a patron. The link is in the description below, and you will find out all of the rewards that I created for my patrons. So the first thing that you guys should know in order to approach this style is a, a seventh chord, you know, minor seventh, major seventh, seven dominant, and altered chords, uh, extended chords, you know, extended to the ninth and so on, in order to play things like... Simple chords, okay, but when you play them, they already have that sort of vibe, R&B and neo soul vibe. So make sure that you check out the other videos that I've got on the channel, uh, where I talk about the must-know chords to play R&B and neo soul guitar. Another thing that you should be familiar with is the music theory behind the chord progression, so that you really understand uh, when I play chords like F major seven or F major nine, and I want to go to A minor as my home, I would pass through the dominant chord to get there, uh, okay, which would be an E7, like, like that. And you might uh, already know that when we go to a minor chord, the dominant 7 chord that we play has an alteration, so in this case I'm playing an E7 flat 9. And also make sure that you know chords that are really important in this style, like a diminished 7 chord that you can use in a symmetric way, just sliding them by three frets every time and they might might be seen as the upper part of a secondary dominant chord so that if we go back to our chord progression we might like to play this moving here in order to reach this and to start again i might want to go with a couple of diminished seventh chords that immediately bring me into that r b vibe that we're looking for but it's also important the feel that you use when you play if you want to play r b if you want to play neo soul and that means that we want to have that sort of laid back relax and uh, cool vibe right like This also works if you're playing with a pick. So when we talk about feel, we mean all of the nuances or the nuggets, you know, how they're called in this style, but in general in music we call them embellishments. So all of the things that you can do around these chords, like for instance, playing uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs, which are so important in this style when you play R&B guitar. Check this out. <laughs> And again, I was playing the same chord progression made by E flat minus 7, E flat minus 7, and A flat minus 7. So 3 minus 7 chord, the 4 minor, the 5 minor, and the 1 minor. And uh, I was just implementing a few hammer on you know, on the scale when I play these chords, together with, you know, sus, then resolving here, or um, adding extensions, like when I played an A flat minor 11. So these are the things that you should be familiar with when you want to approach this style, as well as using melodies. So we're talking about phrasing licks in between the chords or when you start your chord progression. So think about the same chord progression, adding first, It really changes just because we are adding and then you can play it slightly different the next time. I 
again, these are very simple things. And if you guys are interested in finding out exactly what melodies and embellishments I'm playing, I will leave a tab on my Patreon page. So if you are interested in all of this, you can become a patron. The link is in the description below and you'll get amazing rewards. One of them being uh, the tabs and music notation for everything I play in my videos. And then the last thing is that you should be aware of the chord numbers. I briefly mentioned them earlier, I think, when I was saying uh, the four minor, five minor, and one minor. So what I mean is that you can think of the chords as numbers, as degrees in the key uh, where you are. And I recently uploaded a video on the channel where I uh, talked about how you should number the chords in major and minor keys. So if you haven't watched it, uh, you can do that on the card up here, or I will leave another link in the description below. You might be interested in that so that you can follow when somebody calls for the chords with the numbers, or if I uh, name this progression rather than with the chords, just saying, flat six, major seven, five, seven altered, one minor, three diminished seventh, five diminished seventh, back to flat six, major seven, five dominant, one minor. Right guys, that's all for this lesson. This is just a quick recap or list of things that you might want to check out uh, to approach this style or to improve your acoustic or electric R&B and Neo Soul playing. Feel free to get in touch in the comments if you have any questions and if it's your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. That would help me very much. This was The Bearded Guitarist. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. Take care of yourself.